Today's video is focusing on how to level up your weapons as a free to play player. Obviously, some of these things will definitely apply to your regular level if you need to level up some of those things to get access to perks or specific weapons. But overall, if you're a free to play player and you're trying to utilize the best weapon in the game, or some of those attachments, you're gonna to wanna to know how to level up as fast as possible. And right now, as it sits, you're kind of limited to plunder, battle royale, and some resurgence. You kind of just can pick whatever you're best or comfortable with. But if you want kind of a streamlined approach that you can do pretty safely, as a solo player, even with bad weapons, this is kind of the direction I think you should go. It's still gonna work in plunder, where you can go ahead and grab a contract, complete it, those types of things and you get a ton of cash as well as xp keep in mind that every level you gain on a weapon is 2800 xp so it's really how fast can you get there when you grab a most wanted contract as you can see in the background you're going to go ahead and continue looting that'll knock down the timer but while that most wanted contract is active you're going to get an extra five percent xp while looting so each box you open or anything like that it'll give you 105 xp keep it in mind that you would approximately need 28 boxes to get that 105 XP per weapon. On top of that, when you go ahead and complete this, it's gonna go ahead and drop the item that you can also loot. And when you loot that, you're gonna loot the various items in it, and then you're gonna take them to the buy station. And this is kind of where the bulk of your XP is kind of gonna come from. And if you're playing in a larger group, this can go much faster because then you can do a little bit more aggressive contracts. Maybe you're able to loot and scavenge a little bit faster to go ahead and complete and lower down that time. Maybe you feel more comfortable with somebody using certain weapons or others. So in a party is probably gonna be the best way to go. If you get your, your friends, go in there and you kind of just stick to the one area, you can kind of load it up. But the buy station has this nice little item. When you buy it, it actually gives you a little bit of cash back when you buy anything. And this is gonna be important because it'll allow us to get more purchases as we're going through. And then all you do is sell all the items, which doesn't really give you any XP, and then you buy plates. You can just spam buy plates and just press it as fast as possible. And you'll see when you come out of the menu, you're going to have a huge plus XP thing there. So that'll be your individual XP. You want to make sure you're holding that weapon. And this will work for any contract. The Intel ones are pretty quick. You just go from point A to point B, keeping in mind that you are likely to run into people at some point. So maybe when you're jumping out of the plane, you go ahead and do a little bit of a stretch jump so that you get a little bit more out of the area away from players. So you can just focus on that. If you find yourself getting into too many engagements, you can also buy the other item where you drop less money. So then when you regain, you'll still have more money that you could hit the buy station with and get up that loot. So I think this is probably gonna be the best strategy for the average player. If you're really good uh, and you feel like you can do these things in a party on Battle Royale and Resurgence, you're gonna gain more XP. But if you get into those death loops because you're using a trash weapon, because maybe you don't have attachments, it could be pretty bad. So try it out for yourself. If there's any other methods you think can help accelerate this, feel free to leave it in the comments. And from the limiting testing, because I can only level up one gun, it seemed on par or a hair slower than the premium part of the game, which is multiplayer and zombies. So go ahead and try it for yourself. Hopefully this helps you out, especially if you're struggling to get the Baz B leveled up like everyone else in the lobby. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.